Hi guys, I'm Brian Fantana and I'm here to give you a small insight into my, I guess, last 10 years in the Melbourne music scene. I arrived in Melbourne 12 years ago and just obviously it was just a traveller at the start, seeking, I guess, no long-term plans from it. And one thing led to another, you know, I kind of just got swallowed up by the Melbourne scene and yeah, just fell in love with it. And, was previously before here in like Perth and Sydney and loved, loved, you know, they were all great cities but when I got to Melbourne it was definitely something different that pulled me in and before I knew it, yeah, I was just trying to stay longer and longer until it was one day I was a calling at home. <laughs> so I did these, um, I did shows about 13 years ago and they were good. It was definitely one of my first constant playing gigs that I was playing at but the passion was definitely dissipating from each week, just I wasn't feeling what the show was and what I was playing and I wanted to challenge myself and be able to put myself in the scenarios where I was getting to play the music I wanted to play. So when I made that decision, I just was going out pretty much every week, introducing myself to promoters and I think I was going to, started going to Revolver every Sunday and just new music like that aligned with everything I wanted to play. Obviously I hadn't played much in other venues in Melbourne so I thought I would just dedicate myself to Crusade of One and nine months later got an opportunity. From then on it was just like, it just became, yeah, more and more constant and then that's how I met Mike and Damon went to one of their first ever parties, I think Circle Jerk I think it was, it wasn't probably the best choice but I remember, I'll never forget the name and Revolver that was becoming more and more constant and yeah then just yeah over time it just became more of a regular thing until until yeah I guess today. So definitely some of the major milestones I felt through years of playing that it was definitely starting to pay off was um, the first one was probably in 2016 where um, Mike asked me to play at his 40th birthday and Boogs wanted to play do a set together and obviously he was someone I looked up to for such a long time so when he invited me to play with him for Mike's birthday it was such a huge occasion for him you know, as a friend but as a DJ as well. Yeah it was it was amazing to obviously share the share the cage with him for the first time and probably the next one was definitely actually 2018 it was probably I don't think I'll ever have a more captivating year and um, when it comes to things major things happening because in the same year I think I played my first uh, Rainbow at the start of the year at Market Stage, which was just something I don't think that will ever compare. And then I think seven months later, then I got my uh, Revolver Residency, which was <laughs> unbelievable as well. I mean, that's something I never, never pictured I would be involved myself in, given, you know, I mean, everyone that's been there has been there for decades, and it's just not something that I guess changes too often. I think before me, maybe Ben was like nearly 10 years before that. Them two things, I think definitely, I've been the major playing role in, I guess, anything that's came ever since. I've had a conversation with um, a few DJs that have been breaking through the scene, you know, they would come up and say, if, if I had any advice, what would I give them, given, you know, I mean, what I've probably been through the last 10 years, and it's sometimes not the, the most easy advice to take on board, but I, I feel if, if you do, if you're persistent, I always say if you're persistent and patient, patience is definitely the number one thing I think anyone coming through should have because in today's day and age I feel some people do, I guess, they want things to probably move a lot quicker than maybe than they should. I think people rushing to wanting to play big shows, big crowds, you know, that is awesome, but you want to prepare yourself to be able to I guess play in those scenarios, but enjoy it and be able to play to your your full capability. I used to spend countless nights in nightclubs at the start, and I was playing a one-hour set, and then the rest of the night I would just be in the nightclub because you know you're you're showing your support, and then the time will come when you'll get that opportunity to showcase your music on the platform where you'll have that opportunity, so people will start taking more notice. That will definitely come in time. So. Yeah, look, patience, persistence, that's definitely the two things that would get you in the long, in the long game, it'll get you where you want to be. You will catch me this Sunday at the third day in North Melbourne playing for Thickest Seas this Easter Sunday. So yeah, get a ticket and I'll see you Sunday.